The future of war is different than today. Cyber strategies are now incorporating misinformation, disinformation campaigns to coerce governments to destabilize societies. Hi, I am Yasir Atalan, an associate fellow in the International Security Program at CSIS. And I'm here to talk about my recent report with Jose Macias and Ben Jensen, Eroding Trust in Government, What Games and Survey Data Reveal About Alternative Cyber Futures. So this report analyzes the alternative cyber futures, cyber war scenarios, because there is this evolving nature of cyber warfare. And in this report, the method was key as we conducted six TTX sessions with over 55 cybersecurity experts from government to private sector. And we conducted a public survey, which is done with 1,000 people representing the U.S. society. So the report argues that future cyber strategies will target public trust and they will target essential services that is provided by the government to destabilize societies. The report also highlights the increasing role of gender dynamics in cyber threat landscape, and it also focuses on public's lack of understanding of the current cybersecurity measures and strategies. So the report suggests a multifaceted approach. It first looks at the comprehensive cybersecurity strategy focusing on basic social services, and it looks at the enhancing public awareness, and it also suggests that data-driven decision-making approach to strengthen cyber defenses. The future of war is different than today. What we are seeing with the, these TTXs, the cyber strategies are now incorporating misinformation, disinformation campaigns to coerce governments to destabilize societies. And instead of traditional military operations, more of information operations are taking place right now. So one key element of these new cyber strategies is aiming at the vulnerabilities of modern societies, given the recent polarization. So that future is not so distant, actually. Cyber attacks are already taking place. And at the times of elections, these vulnerabilities are even more important. So there is actually two big takeaways from the report that we noticed. Both experts and the public identified the most vulnerable part of the societies for these cyber attacks are the basic services. So social services that are provided by governments can be disrupted by these cyber strategies. The second thing is the gender dynamics is important. We notice that females are more sensitive and concerned to deep fakes and computational propaganda than males. Also, they don't find the current cybersecurity measures sufficient. So we argue that any cybersecurity strategy should be multifaceted, focusing on these gender gaps too. So when we were doing this, we noticed that the current policy discussions are focusing mostly on the funding and the resources. But it is not about resources itself. It is also about the cyber strategy. So the mindset should be different than the current version because these cyber attacks are not actually aiming traditional targets. Instead, they can attack the basic services that the citizens rely on. So we think that the mindset should be different, and we argue for a data-informed approach for a better cybersecurity strategy. The report also advocates public engagement and more transparent discussions, as it is more related to the public than the elites in the current era. To read the full report, Eroding Trust in Government, What Games and Survey Data Reveal About Alternative Cyber Futures, please visit csis.org.